Okay, so a couple of different things here. The first thing is, if the agent who had it on the market let it expire, let's say it was on the market for about six months, and the carrying costs are two grand a month, I'm just making a ballpark, right? Let's say that the carrying costs are two thousand a month. Then what's happening is that six months times two thousand a month is another twelve grand that the seller is losing. Yet, they're, so they're not netting that extra money. Now, you're not telling them any of this on the phone, okay, because you can't convince somebody that you've never met. You have to meet with them face to face. So these are the things that you're gonna show them. Maybe you average days on market 45 days. Well, if you do, they're gonna net more money. Now, what's your company average list to sales price percentage? Is your brokerage at, let's say, 90, 98.6% average list to sales price? And then what's your competitors or the markets average list to sale price is yours higher if so you're going to net them more money now another thing if that's at a let's say four percent listing how much were they co-broking and maybe they were co-broking two percent or two and a half percent well at that amount right is that in line with the market I don't know you tell me but is it in line with the market if it's not then do some realtors, not seeing you, not seeing me, but do some realtors look at that and say, eh, I don't want to show that property, right? Like, should they? No, probably not, but not say that, but, you know, it's reality. A lot of times they do. And let's say that the agent is only making, say, 1.5% themselves or something like that. Then, in that case, how good of an agent are they? How strong of a negotiator are they? And really, the bottom line how much are they going to, how hard are they going to work to get that property sold? Obviously not that hard because it hadn't happened yet, right? Hadn't sold. So they need a fresh approach. They need you, okay? They need that new agent who's going to do the job, but you can't tell them all of these things on the phone because that won't, that won't get you a signed listing agreement. That won't allow you to help them get what they really need which is to move and have the property sold and to not only not lose that money, okay, but to also have a peace of mind, to have certainty in their life that the property is sold. Because if you've ever sold a property, let's say it's a half million dollar home and maybe you move out of state or you're moving out of state and you're worried about that time frame and you're like, shit, I don't know, when is this thing gonna sell? That uncertainty is also a huge pain point besides just netting that um, that extra money. So if that makes sense, there's all different ways that you can go about it. You can look at your days on market compo uh, compared to your competitors or the, uh, or the market. Um, you can do the same thing with the list price to sales price, right? Like whatever that is. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways to cut it.